today a wave of deep deep appreciation and thanksgiving coming upon every one of us stop looking at what the Lord has not done count your blessings name them one by one it will amaze you. God is not a liar. He can't deny himself. He has told you his abundance in goodness and truth. Release your faith that you might experience him 
as one who is abundant in goodness. He has told you that he's gracious and that he's merciful. Release your faith and experience his graciousness. depth of our hearts, from the bottom of our hearts, we express gratitude. From the bottom of my heart, Give us a few, one or two minutes to just keep appreciating him and thanking him. To deliberately recount what he's done for you, especially as he pertains to answered prayers. You called and he answered you. You made a decree and it came to pass. You proclaimed his word and it became reality. supply has stopped for you. That's how you see it. And we are saying let's thank God. And it's a bit difficult. I, I can't really, I find it difficult to thank God because I don't understand. You know what God is saying? God said, I didn't turn off the tap. You rise up in your faith and turn on the vow and there will be a resumption of the flow of divine supplies in your life then you may be asking how do i turn it on i never turned it on and the lord says i should tell you just by speaking declaring who you are declaring that you are the heir of the world Declaring that you are the heir of the promise. Declaring that you are the redeemed of the Lord. Declaring that you are adopted into the family of God. Declaring that you've been freely justified from all things. The vow will be turned down. And the flow will resume. The flow of divine supplies. Ask and you shall receive. Some of us, we have been too sucked into our problems. We have never intentionally gone to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and to discover the superabundance of grace that's available to help you in that situation. And you ask not and you don't receive ask and you will receive thank you everlasting Father.
there is a sweetness that the Lord is distilling into your soul and he wants you to enjoy the sweetness that will be your testimony this week last week was rough this week will be a week of so much sweetness that proceeds directly from the Lord himself. Father, we thank you. The sounds of victory will echo in our dwellings this week. Where we have experienced protracted battles and contention, this week there will be announcements of victories and triumph for several of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for those issues in our lives that appear to be inconclusive for some of us by reason of your sweetness which you are ministering to our hearts we shall see many of those outstanding issues effortlessly and abruptly but completely concluded in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Father you are ministering strength to the weak you said you give power to the weak so we declare that everyone who is experiencing emotional weakness, physical weakness, psychological weakness, any form of weakness that means maybe even tiredness, that means even um, oh, oh, you, you are giving up. Father, thank you for today we are all receiving an infusion of strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Yes, on Friday... Bible says that when you give strength to your people, your people will mount up with wings. Thank you, Father. You said they mount up with wings like the eagle. Father, we thank you because every one of us, Lord, by faith, we are mounting up with the wings of the Holy Spirit Amen. that we are all positioned above our distressing challenges or situations anything that causes distress or sorrow anything that robs us of our peace the wings of the holy spirit we flap the wings and these wings take us beyond the law of sin and death take us beyond the law of the natural and we find ourselves operating in that law that is beyond the natural. Thank you, everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.